Hey guys, welcome back to Playwright TypeScript tutorial after a long time. Um, so I just got an email like uh, how to download XREX file and then do the comparison with Playwright. So I just done it and I think it's a good learning. So I'm going to share with you as well. It's going to be really simple. So I'm not going to write much code. I just want to uh, execute and show you. And of course, we'll discuss the coding part as well. So to achieve this, of course, I'm using this library called Excel XX. And of course, you have to do this package installation. Just go to your terminal, give this command. That's it. Very simple. And then here, it's a really big documentation as well as uh, you have like everything so whatever you want to achieve from excel file you can get everything with this particular documentation i will leave the link in the description you can go and check it out yourself so let me execute and show you first so here we can see like we have this original uh, excel file okay and then i have the same excel file in my website as well so if i go to letgo.in workspace and file management and here you can select we have this download excel list if i click on this that's going to download a uh, excel file of course so we are just going to compare that one okay so for example here you can see like we are just navigating to that particular site and we are doing the download excel and uh, this code you already know so let's skip this one and we are getting some file name and we are storing that particular file for example let me go and delete the sample. Okay, so this is what we are going to get from the um, server from my application. And this is the original dot XLXX file. Okay, so uh, yeah. And then we have like testing for dot attach. That means what are the file we are going to download? We want to include that in our uh, playwright reporter as well. So I'm just using this one. And then we have this read Excel and then we are just uh, writing the um, compassion to strict equal. Okay, so we'll learn this in a moment. Let me run and show you. So I'm just going to use the playwright VS code extension to execute this test. So here you can see like the browser is launched, the, it navigated to the site and here you can see like, okay, we have add, let me close this. But here you can see the file got downloaded and if I go to my package explorer here you can select we got the sample.xlx file okay and we don't have any uh, error that's why the console it's not coming if you want to see the logs you can just uh, open your reporter so I'm going to say like npx playwright okay it should be something like uh, npm run report okay that will give us the html report let's go and check it out okay so here you can select download and compare excel file and we got all our steps and here if i go to this particular thing you can see like we have standard output that means we are just logging like uh, what are the data we read we are just logging it out and also you can see like downloaded if you click that it will give us the same excel list file okay now just in case if there is any uh, issue let's say that we have some wrong data so i'm going to modify my original i will delete the downloaded file and i will modify my original excel list file so let's say that I i'm going to make it like 62 instead of 61 and i'm going to save it and close it now i'm going to execute the same file so let me let, let me delete this to folder as well of course it will delete automatically but still let's run this one more time okay and here you can see like <coughs> so we are expecting like um 61 but we got like 62 okay i mean yeah we we are expecting it to be 61 but we got like 62 that's why it got uh issue and once we change this quantity it will also change the total price so of course there is also error message so that is the beauty of this particular thing like too strict equal you cannot use any other uh do 
do this i tried with the different functions but none of work uh, only this guy worked so which is really cool okay now coming back to the question this function what does this do so when we download the file name i'm just going to send the same file name to the method which is like read excel and that's going to return the json so what we are doing here is very simple thing using the xlx we are calling a function called read file and we are passing the path that's going to return me workbook so basically excel file is a uh, it's contain a workbook and workbook is like collections of sheet so from the workbook i have to give my sheet name so in my case i'm using like uh, first sheet that is of zero so we have to pass that within the array and that's going to return me the sheet now from the sheet i'm going to use the function like utils dot sheet to json that means like um we know that the object will be like rows and columns right so a lot of things will be there so we can just convert that into a json file or json data which will be really easy to do the comparison so here i'm doing the log that's why like we got that in our reporter file so if you go to the okay i closed it i believe so let's go and open the report one more time so here you can see like we got this entire data right so that is what uh, we are doing here the console log and then i'm just returning so why i'm doing return because i want to compare that from the uh, downloaded file and to this original excel data it's basically just i'm doing the read excel so i'm using the same function it will read the file path and then it will just return the data as json so this will be my json and again i'm doing the json uh, conversion that's it so we are comparing both the json objects if both are equal it will pass or else it will get failed okay so very simple thing i hope you understood uh, of course the code and comments are there i will upload this in my github repository you can go and check it out link will be in the description if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply and some of you also asked like how to read the data from json file and run the test so i think this is the simple answer you just need this three lines of code you go and read the data convert it into json and from json of course already i have uh, taught you how to read data from json or json object so you can do that okay so yeah Take care.